spaniels deploy now. It's a Parsley Hill Spaniel video vlog. They haven't done one for a while. Spooky Mama. Edward. It's just had zoomies. Swiss. Adelaide. Lucy. And then behind her is Gladys. Eric is on sentry duty and Cheesy's gone sod that and gone back inside. We've all come out to investigate the stupid woodpecker that we have. And I say stupid, it's because he keeps banging on either the scaffolding or the ladder. Not a tree. He's going to damage his beak. Silly thing. Anyway, we've come out for a, a little bit of a wander around, not too much. It's nice to see all the leaves on the trees. Teddies are doing a bit of pruning, tidying up their uh, their woods. Listening to the birdies, and it's all lovely. Nice and sunny again. Had a couple of days of rain, which has done the forest fires and the grass fires some good. Means the firefighters have had a bit of a reprieve and those that have been evacuated can go back home. They're not out, the fires, but at least those that are evacuated can go home and hopefully the water that we've just had will help all that. I'm just saying that even though we've had, I won't say torrential rain, we've had a couple of really big thunderstorms and a lot of rain, the ground is still hard, like seriously hard. He's panting because he's had zoomies. He had a funny five minutes, didn't you? Zooming round everyone. I'm going to take a wander down here. I think Teddy's making the most of it because this year, this is where our Eden project's going. That'll be um, that'll be good. Hope to have it up and running by the end of August, mid September. It's a tree that Rob took down the other day because it was bent over anyway. That's a funny angle. Well, it's surprising how nature would carry on growing because it's still got some. I don't know if you can see it's still got buds on it. We're hoping that these are going to produce some fruit this year. Let's see if we can make some cider from our apples. We didn't have any fruit last year, but then it was a really dry year. And it may be the same this year. Looks like it. But this is where our two polytunnels are going to go. So the teddies won't have the free run of it down here like they have had in the past. They'll have to wander around the sides of it. It'll come out to about here. And then there'll be a walkway around here, because obviously we still need to get around and check fences and things. And they're going to be a bit staggered. The two that we've got, or the two that we have. As you can see, the markers are in. 10 foot wide, 9 foot high, and 50 feet long each one, with 3 foot high raised beds, two, of, two in each one, not two raised beds, but two 48 feet three f long, 3 foot high beds. So, hey, leaves coming out. See those little brown bits on there? That's sticky buds from the leaves where they burst out and it gets onto the teddy's paws and they bring them in and then disperse them everywhere. And it's lovely waking up to find them on your face because they've dispersed them on your pillow during the night. Now I can hear a woodpecker over there who's actually pecking on wood. Just unfortunate that ours is a bit silly. Never mind. Compost heap is going in there. Compost, yeah, compost bin is going in there. And this will be marked off as well. And cordoned off 
because this is uh, going to be the Chimpkin Run. We've got ten of them coming, end of July, beginning of August. So that's going to be interesting to see how the teddies deal with them. We're obviously going to have to scrim them off so they can't really see them through the netting. And obviously this is Shea Chimkinopolis that we're building at the moment. A couple of trees come down. I'm going to take the branches off and then just lay them because chickens like to play and investigate and this will be all good. I don't know if you can hear the chopper overhead. That's either a water carrier or it's a um, fire suppressant carrier. But they're heading north and west to where the fires are still are at the moment. There's something like 183 fires at the moment in Alberta. And we've got four of them within about 70 kilometres from us. So what's that about? 50 miles from us. The only good thing is if the, change, if the wind changes and it starts to come back this way, it'll be already going over scorched earth, so it'll kind of put itself out, if you see what I mean. Yeah. Anyway, that's the ladder that the woodpecker keeps pecking on. Silly woodpecker. Stupid woodpecker. Got to pull that one out and put him up somewhere else. Pretty sure you can hear them really well now, the choppers. That's Lucy Lulu. Oh, just a short little thing to say happy spring. Hope you all had a good weekend in the UK. It's Mother's Day here for us this weekend on this side of the pond. And then the weekend after is our long weekend. It's Victoria weekend. Um, i trying to think what it is in the US. I think it's Memorial weekend. Yeah, it is Memorial weekend. Well, I'm sure somebody will tell me if I've got that wrong. <laughs> anyway, teddies are out. They're enjoying themselves. They wanted to say hi from Parsley Hill. Yeah, we'll get going again, Swiss. Don't worry. Don't worry. Anyway, hope you have a, a lovely rest of the week. If you're wondering, it's 19 degrees here at 11 o'clock in the morning. I think we're meant to be going up to something like 23, 24, so not that, not that hot today. Warm, nice, nice and warm. Weekend, we're back up in the 30s. <laughs> so that'll be good. Get some more work done. And we'll show you Chimkinopolis when it's finished. Until then, ta-ra!